Have you ever had to wait for something for a very long time? Over the last several months, my brother's been visiting his doctors, and they, they found something about his heart that concerned them. It called for them to do a series of tests and all kinds of monitoring that took several weeks. The doctors told him that it was probably not anything severe, but if it was and it went without attention, it could turn out to be bad. I could tell it bothered him because he would text me and my, my brothers and sisters and, and, and tell us about it, and we were able to encourage him and, and to, uh, to pray him through his, his waiting. A couple of weeks ago, he informed us that his doctors were satisfied that nothing bad was wrong and, and he could go on without much concern. His waiting ended with good news. Proverbs 13, 12 says, Hope deferred makes a heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. Anticipating things can be very difficult. We aren't always patient and we can literally worry ourselves to the point of being sick. Can you imagine what it was like for those Jews in the Old Testament who loved God and were waiting for the promised Messiah? They longed for the Messiah to come and, and to establish an earthly kingdom. And when that time had come, that longing became a reality in the person of Jesus Christ. Jesus brought with him the promise of salvation and new life. God uses time to do a lot of good things. In our waiting, we can have hope. Our greatest hope now is in the return of Jesus Christ to take those who have trusted in Him to an eternal home that He's been preparing. Put your hope in Christ and eagerly wait for His glorious return. Change begins in you. The Change Begins in You is brought to you in part by Piggly Wiggly of Collinsville, Patrick Allen Companies, Mitchell Tire and Wrecker in Collinsville, and Mountie Cabinetry.